Hello, my beautiful people. It is October the 24th, um, Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Um, I wasn't going to film today, but I kind of got inspired, like some things just running through my head and I just wanted to film this video. So I figured why not do it while I'm putting my face on and can just talk to you guys and chit chat. Um, first things first, what in the world? My hair is a hot mess. I want to show you guys this hoodie. Like, I'm a cup person that loves to be comfy and warm and cozy. And this hoodie is a crop top. I have a tank top underneath of it only because it's cold out and I don't like being cold. But it is super cute. It's like that perfect length. I have leggings on, obviously. But it's super warm and cozy. And I got it at Kohl's last year, last winter, for like eight bucks. So that was a steal. Um, got my monster and clutch. All right, I'm going to put my makeup on. I already put my foundation on and my powder. And then I was like, oh, shoot. I didn't even conceal. Oh, my goodness, Sasha. Um, I was like, oh, shoot. Like, I want to film this video. So I will do it while I'm getting ready. And we will chit-chat. I hope you guys don't fall down because I have you guys propped up on a picture. Um, before I get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, you can't see it now, but my face is breaking out like hell. I do not know what the deal is. I'm almost 30 years old, not 16. So, if somebody has a recommendation on a good product to clear, my face used to be super oily, and then the older I've gotten, it like, has dried out significantly. So, a lot of the products I used to use um, to, like, dry out the oiliness now dry my face too much. So, if you have any products that you would recommend, let me know. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Tasha underscore Rumple. Um, yeah, I always love to hear your guys' feedback or what you think that I should film, um, ideas, whatever the case may be. I may be getting a part-time job, a very, very part-time, like very part-time, but I can take Ryder with me and it's a little bit of extra cash. I will keep you guys in tune for that. Um, all right, let's get into the video. All right, so uh, the topic I want to talk about is anxiety. Unless you have anxiety, this is the NYX. I don't know if you guys want to know what I'm putting on, but this is the NYX Photogenic um, Concealer in CW05. I really like this product, and it's like five bucks. So, um, do not judge my makeup application because I'm not a beauty guru by any means. Anyways, no Jaclyn Hill. Um... So, anxiety. Anxiety is dear to my heart because I struggle with it greatly. And unless you have it, you don't fully, like, understand what a person is going through when they have anxiety. Um, my husband doesn't have... He gets anxious, but he doesn't really have anxiety. So, he really struggles. Like, when I'm having an, an anxiety day, he's like, I don't know what you're going through. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know how to help. Which, he's there for me. But he... He's definitely gotten better with understanding. Um, I don't have anxiety like I once did. I can't fully say that, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, you know, and I really think that it goes to, like, things that have happened in your life that just you can't kick, maybe. I don't know. It's easier said than done. I had a pretty traumatic part of my life from the age of, um, like 15 until I was 21, even after that, really, but that was the most traumatic time, um, I went through a lot of things, which I want to talk about one day, but right now I know my daughter watches my video and my videos a lot, and I would just rather not talk about it right now, um, so maybe one day I will talk to you guys about all that jazz, but... I really think a lot of my anxiety issues is just the stuff that I've went through. I never struggled with anxiety when I was a child. I had a really good childhood for the most part. I did go through, my parents got divorced after I was 11. And then I kind of started going through some things that should have never happened to me. But again, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, so with that being said, 
you know, I was a teen mom. I went through the struggles. Um, I dealt with a lot of things that I shouldn't have dealt with alone, but I did. And it's made me who I am today. But after I left the situation that I was in for so long, it really hit me out. Like, this may sound dumb and crazy, and unless you're in the situation, you would not understand. But I was too scared to leave the situation for so long and left myself and my children in it. Um, you can give me all the hate you want, but I left myself and my children in it for so long because I was, I suck at doing my eyebrows, y'all, so. I, uh, was scared of the consequences of leaving the situation. Um, but with that being said, I put myself more than my kids, but they did see the backlash through this trauma for so long and I just think like my kids were still young but I just think I brought anxiety upon myself because I dealt with the situation for so long and then it hit me at once anxiety is a very real thing anybody can have it there can be any reason to have it um I have like, it's hit me hard. I'm better now, okay? But it's gotten to, it's gotten me to where I've had insomnia many a nights, and there's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still laying up because I just cannot sleep. I cannot shut my mind off, and I'm thinking about the craziest things or thinking about what if somebody picks my kid up off the side of the street when they're out waiting for the bus, or what if somebody breaks into my house during the night and I don't hear them, or what if um, somebody hurts my children, or what if, you know, like, if there's even been th times where I'm like, you know, what if my husband doesn't love me anymore because I dress this way or because I put makeup on this way or because I cut my hair this way or because I colored my hair this way? Like, what if he doesn't love me anymore because of that? And that's just crazy stuff, but that is just the value, like, that. not even, not the value because <laughs> anxiety sucks ass, but that is just part of having anxiety. Like, you can't control things and you can't, you can control what you're doing, but you can't control what your mind is racing about and worrying about and being scared about, like, that is the joys of anxiety. Um, I'm definitely better now because of the, the trauma part of my life, I've cut out significantly um, to be able to kind of handle it better. Um, right now, it's better. I hope that it stays that way. But I started struggling with it about nine years ago, and... It just gradually got worse there was moment and then my dad passed away and there was just that was more trauma um to it all and I have been like taking medication for it but I just do not like the way medication makes me feel so I've tried numerous different kinds and then I stopped taking it um because I'm like I'm stronger than it I can handle it I join like got into the fitness world because oh my god I suck at eyebrows um I got into the fitness world and the aspect of when I wanted to like better myself anyways but because when I'm having a really bad anxiety day I will go punch the punching bag like I will go box I will go throw weights around I will do things to help with my anxiety but too often people are too scared to talk about anxiety and to talk about the emotions and the feelings. And there's days where I just, it drains me so bad. Like, it used to be so bad that I would stress because I didn't wash a load of laundry that day. Or because I didn't put the laundry away that day. Or because um, I would tell the kids, like, no, I can't buy that for you. And then I would stress about it, like, what if they don't, what if, this sounds crazy, but what if they don't, what if they're mad at me, or they're not even mad at me, what if they don't love me because I told them no, or because I can't do that, like, what if when they're 18, they're like, man, my mom didn't do all this stuff with me, or my husband, you know, says, like, what if she wasn't cool enough or that that maybe sounds dumb but that's just what anxiety people go through it's true it's honest it's sucks um 
your life can be, you know, good. Like, my life's not bad by any means. You know, I have a hardworking husband and four amazing kids and a house, a pretty nice house and a roof over my head. And I get to stay at home with my child and take care of my kids and do things with them and whatever. And I am extremely blessed and grateful for that. But it doesn't mean I'm not human and I don't go through you know, spells and have anxiety. It's just real and honest and true. And there's days where I function, obviously, but I don't put a face on. Like, I just don't care. I don't, um, it's just real. Like, you just can't, I'm scattered brain because I guess I don't know what I want to say. Um, you just can't help it. And there's days where I'm staring in his own and the husband's like, what is wrong? And I'm like, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know what caused my anxiety today. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it just happened. Something set me off. Like people in the store are probably like, and being in my house doesn't bother. I don't get anxiety that much. Um, but like going out in public, I do because people stare or they just stand in your way or, there's so many people like and that and then I get anxiety because I'm like checking my surroundings and making sure nobody you know scoping my kids out or you know it's just a very real thing that we don't acknowledge and initiate enough um or people's not real and open about it or people try to put on this perfect face and that's just not how it is you can have a good life and still have anxiety it doesn't mean that you have a sucky life it doesn't mean that um that you're going through a rough time like it doesn't mean anything it just means anxiety is real and it sucks and there can be so many things and reasons to set it off and when you get into an anxiety mode sometimes you don't know how to get out of it um and then it drains you like you're tired the rest of the day you physically and mentally are drained and that's just being real and open I so with that being said I do not take medication for it, per my choice. Um, anxiety doesn't make you hurt people or make you have a crazy mind. Well, it doesn't me anyways. It just makes me, like, numb in my mind almost. Not numb. Um, I don't know the right word. It makes me not be able to focus on, like, the picture in front of me, I guess. I'm like very like I'm hearing what you're saying but I can't comprehend what you're saying so I can hear it but I can't comprehend it that is what anxiety does to me um it makes me really sick to my stomach now like I don't want to eat so that is what anxiety does to me um with that being said I like I said I do not take medication for it that is my choice um, there's lots of amazing medications out there that help, and if you need medication to help, then by all means do it, but usually the gym will help me um, if I just close my eyes, take some breaths, that will help me, and I also join the CBD bandwagon. Now, I'm not going to give you guys any is that not going on um any acknowledge like info on cbd oil like i will tell you a few things that i think about it but that is it that is where i'm gonna leave it cbd oil is legal and there's not drugs in it, it is a drug free product um i definitely wouldn't order from like ebay or anything like that and i've looked it up on amazon but it, they actually only have hemp oils on there not cbd oil but I came across CBD oil when it started finally coming out about six months ago. Maybe less. Maybe like five. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Um, I joined and I was like, you know, like I kind of want to try this for my anxiety because medication just I don't like the way it makes me feel. And I don't want to be on medication and I don't want to have to take medication. And if this will help me and it's a more all natural product, then I'm going to then I'm going to give it a go. So that is what I did, and I do 
really like it. Um, it doesn't make me feel, it's CBD, so it's not marijuana, it's not drugs, um, so it doesn't give you a high. It makes you relaxed, um, makes your brain calm down, your body calm down, you can feel things and see th the picture better. So, I personally love it. Um, I don't take it every day, which some people do. And I don't need it all the time because, like I said, my anxiety is way more under control. So, unless I'm, like, going out and about or to, like, big par like parties, like I party, or family functions and stuff where I know that there's going to be lots of people there, I don't usually take it. Unless I'm just having a really rough day, which we all do, and it just sneaks up on us out of nowhere and we just can't help it. Um, but I really, really love it. Um, it is on the pricier side. I want to say for the bottle, the jar bottle I have, it was like 40 bucks, but it's lasted me quite a long time. And I ordered it from, I want to say it's called Mystic CBD. Look it up. Um, there's a fitness girl. Oh my God, why can I not think of her name right now? A fitness girl on... Instagram and it's actually her company and she swore by it and I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try I trust her and I really love it so I use it when I need it and it really works um so I definitely recommend it there's people out there that are sketched out by it whatever I get it like I'm a very paranoid person part of having anxiety like I'm a very paranoid person very very paranoid um over everything like I'm so scared of doing something wrong or making somebody mad or hurting somebody's feelings or getting in trouble for something like <laughs> that when I don't even like do anything but I'm just to the point of where I can be drinking a monster while I'm driving down the road and I'm like what if a cop thinks I'm drinking a beer you know just crazy things so I'm always paranoid and freaking out but and I was even kind of paranoid about CBD oil in the beginning. But I was like, you know, it's freaking legal. Like, this girl swears by it. It's not a drug. All right, I'll give it a try. And I love it. So, um, that's all the information I'm going to give about it. Look it up. Do your research. Um, I really think it's a good product. And it's a natural product if you're like me and you don't like medication. Or you don't like the way it makes you feel. Or you don't want to put medication in your body. I'm with you, girl. And I fully am with you. So, I understand. Um, but look it up, get yourself some, try it out, tell me what you think if you do try it out, um, but I just want you to know that you're not alone, anxiety is very real, and it's a, it's a daily struggle for a lot of people, and a lot of people don't talk about it the way that they should, or then maybe they hide it, and if you have anxiety, and you're one of those people that hide it, don't, like, so many people do have it and struggle with it, um, I've even tried, like, cutting out caffeine in the past thinking that would help, and it didn't. Somebody just called me, so cut my video off. But I've um, tried cutting caffeine out, and it didn't help. Anxiety does sometimes trigger it more. But anxiety is anxiety. You can never fully get rid of it. There's coping methods, and there's ways to help yourself during an anxiety moment. But to fully get rid of it is not going to happen. It's just a part of your life. Um... But you can make the best of it and find ways to help with it. And I'm with you, girl. And if you ever need somebody to talk to, um, I'm here no matter what. Like, if you want to talk to me about anything, I am here. I'm the person that will listen with no judgment. And I will be here. And I will say things that I, if I think I know what to say to help. And if not, if you don't want to hear anything, I will just be here to listen because that is who I am. I'm a great listener. I don't like judging people because you don't know the shoes that they walked in. I often feel like I get judged because I was a teen mom or because I have four kids or even maybe because I'm a stay-at-home mom now to take care of our kids because I'm able to. I just feel like people judge me on it um, or my tattoos or my hair or whatever the circumstance may be, but nobody fully knows me except for me. Nobody fully knows the, the hard things I've been through or the traumatic times I've been through, or the stuff I've dealt with that I've just kept quiet about. Nobody knows that. So don't judge a person. Be there for everyone. Make the world a better place. Anxiety is freaking real and raw and horrible and sucks. 
and yeah let's just make awareness for it i'm going to finish up my makeup so i can go get groceries but i love you guys let's make the world a better place